not the best range west of the Pecos, is it? Well, you take what you can get. Besides, you'll hit grade the other side of Denver. Yeah, but what I can't understand is how come that passion wants a bad thing. Coal dust. Mining did it. Let me take a look at the map, will you? It'll take about four days to go around the hill via the old arroyo. What do you think? Well, if it isn't dried out. The gray's on the other side, I mean. That's what we're going to find out right now. Let's go. like luck is finally running our way. We better check and see how much undercut those coal miners did. Quince, while you're down there, check that mine shaft entrance. See if those miners went clear through to the Arroyo. Simon, these old dugouts ain't too safe. You didn't get enough to eat. How about another order of biscuits from my friend Jerry here? He didn't get much to eat back in our Albuquerque days. He's a poor skinny fella. Look at that. I've never seen either one of you two do anything but eat. Take your plate up there to Cookie. It isn't Cookie, Rankin. It's Mr. Wishbone to the likes of you. What likes is that? Likes that hasn't done a day's work since you joined up. That's what. Sure have, Mr. Cookie Wishbone. I've been out scouting some of our beautiful scenery, son. Scouting? Scrounging, you mean? Picking over what you think those miners might have left behind? Oh, what they left behind is a mighty interesting little souvenir. Right over there. That miner's shack, nothing would have been left there. Nothing comes in some funny-looking jugs in sometimes. Did you ever hear of blasting, Joe? Have you ever seen any gun cotton? No, but I seen big wool mouths like you. You oughtn't to call Ed names. He's off, Jerry.
You ought to be careful how you talk to people, Mr. Wishbone. All right, I want every man off the herd. Wishbone, get picks and shovels, anything we can dig with. What's the matter? I got a mine cave in. Oh. Okay. Well, let's go get me a horse. What's the matter with you two? Haven't you got horses? You didn't say who was in that cave in. Winston Simon, let's move. Try to get it going, huh? This other tunnel's not sealed off. Give me a hand in here. Anybody bring a canteen? Fill this up. Should be around here somewhere. Try clearing along here, huh? But be careful. Try to get some of this slide back. I think I found it. Okay. To make a Wish, let me have that lamp. through to the other end. Look, Judd, I don't know anything about mining. The only thing I'm worried about is Quince and Simon. Rowdy, I used to work the coal mines when I was a kid. This here's a cross end. It means air. It also means that we might be able to find out whether or not the others are still alive. But this thing is useless. However, if there's one cross vent, there's got to be another. Well, but supposing there's another one and it's closed too. Stop supposing, Wish. Through? It goes through all right. What made the lamp flicker up like that? Same thing that made me quit mining when I was a kid. Coal gas. I helped carry out ten men killed by the same kind of stuff that's sealed up in there. Yeah, including Quince and Simon. Maybe we can get them to hear us. Jim! Simon! I'm talking to you through an air shaft, a pipe. Can you see it? If you can see it, Wrap on it real easy. Wish. Jiggle that lamp back and forth. Jim, can you see this light we're flashing? Jim with you? Yeah. 
Are you hurt? No, no, no. It's not me. It's Quint. I can't stop the bleeding. A bear clawed his shoulder. You better tell me what to do, Wish. He's unconscious. All right, Simon. Now this is what you do. First you drag Quince over to this air hole so he can breathe. Then you get some dirt and you put it on where he's bleeding. Make a kind of a poultice. Then you press it till he stops bleeding. When you get all of that done, you rack and let me know. All right, right. We're going to have to get the men to help dig him out of there. Well, it'll fall just as fast as they can dig. Uh, you got some way figured to get in there to him? Quince is hurt pretty bad. We've got to get him out as soon as possible. Let's start digging. Yeah, that timber looks like the best spot. Let's praise into it, huh? Let me try to sink this pick behind it first. Sure this way. The other side's caving away. We gotta get him out of there some way, but not by digging. Is there any chance we could tunnel in from the side, maybe? Time, Rowdy, time. Those gases in the downdraft, they'd kill our boys in a couple hours. You sure? I'm sure. If we have to ride all the way back to Whitewash to get help, it could take a half a day. Wait a minute. There's only one way to get them men out of that mine. And that is to blast them out. Is that right, Jeff? Well, we don't have any dynamite to blast with. But I ain't talking about dynamite. Well, what then? Well, that's stuff I found up at that old miner's shack. Uh, gun shell is what I think it is. Only thing is, you set off that by concussion. Whereas with dynamite, you set it off with a fuse. And you get me a jug of that, and I could blow this here caved-in mine wide open. Just like I was blasting ahead for track. We got a chance at Rowdy. Okay, I'll ride up and get it. <laughs> <laughs> you got something on your cross, spit it out, reckon. Well, I, I said that stuff would blow sky high, but it'll also go off just by the touch of your little finger at the wrong time. Now, you can't haul that by horseback. And you can't haul it one man alone on foot, either. You got to tie that down good and proper. That's powerful stuff. You got to have men to help you haul it, too, like uh, me and Jerry here. Are you just talking your mouth off, or have you ever hauled? Didn't I tell you I railroaded? Ed, I never done no railroading like you. Now, you just do what I say, boy. Now, Mr. Yates here, I figure he's a... Uh, He's going to pay a little bit for this. How much? Well, uh, Jerry and I got to have me a steak. Aaron, that pit pipe's smelling awful bad. It's just a pocket of gas. That's the way it builds up. You tell Simon and Quince to stay down. Keep away from it. Wish. You got a blacksmith bellows that'll fit that pipe in there? Why, sure. In the supply wagon. Phillips, hightail it down there and bring it up here, huh? How much? Hmm. Five hundred for the two of us. All right. Wish. You keep talking to them through that air vent. Say anything. You know, just keep talking so they don't pass out. Where do we blow that blast stuff? Well, you got to dig a hole back there right above where the cave-in is. Sort of blow down and then out. Well, you heard him. Get it ready for us. The rest of you keep clear of this tunnel so the air can get through it. That blast stuff better be there. Oh, it's there. But it's going to be another thing getting it on up here. We'll get it up here. Let's move out. Set it in there easy and steady now. Don't let it swing. You want to save as much of that water as you can. That's right. Now lift it slow and steady. Here's 
Sheriff Fatback, looks like them varmints is aiming to steal us blind. You shoot that gun off and you're gonna blow yourself up with us. Keep them hands up. Come on, Jerry, let's take him. No. Uh, you own this here place? Yep. I also own that jug of juice you got there, too. Bought it off of some coal diggers. Any of you varmints know what you're messing around with? Yeah, I do. How do we know that you own it, though? Because I got the drop on you, that's why. It's like the man said, if you got it and they want it, you only need two things, an old blunderbuss and a gunny sack to carry the money off. Look, if this old coot really owns this stuff, he knows he's gonna blow himself to Hades if he shoots that gun off. I got papers, you wanna see them? How much do you want for it? Including that old wagon over there. I wouldn't sell it to you, sonny. That gun gel's mighty dangerous. Look, I got two men that are trapped in a mine. Now, I'll give you $50 for it, that's all I have. Wait a minute, how old is that stuff? Well, it's been around here quite some time. Uh, don't reckon I'd know exact. Well, when I was working railroad, we didn't use no old stuff. We liked our stuff kept nice and cold. This stuff's been sitting out in the sun too long. Well, suit yourself. But you're gonna have to get off of my property and put that gun gel back where you got it. He's right, son. It is kind of old. Well, I'm gonna buy it no matter how old it is. Well, that wagon might be or might rusty. Fat back, look at this. <laughs> uh, did Jerry get a nice calm horse out of the Ramuda wagon broke, huh? You hear that, fat back? Now, wait a second. You didn't sell us no blast cap yet. I thought you knew all there was to know about gun gel. You ain't working no railroad gang now. You're gonna have to smash it with our cap. That is, if you get it that far. <laughs> Come on, fat back, let's get out of here. Unless these traces go first. That old horn toad thief. Should I have some water, Ed? What's the matter with you? Is your mouth dry already? A job like this is like a battle. Anybody with any sense would get a dry mouth. Except maybe somebody who had a big mouth. All right, let's get this thing tied down so we can get moving. And then this big old rustler, he said to the sheriff, Beeves, why I thought they was Texas groundhogs. <laughs> don't you laugh, Simon. No, I know you can hardly help it, but don't laugh, Simon. Might use up air. Simon, just tap for me. Jim? Just tap for me, Simon. Tap for me, Simon. Simon? what you're doing. Keep that road clear. You're lifting your end up a little high there. Why don't you save yourself for some of that rough country on up ahead? 
I'm going to keep lifting it high all the way. There's still a few places I want to lift to see. so you can go around, take squid down there, see what you can find? What I mean is I want to tell him some of the stories I used up on you. All right, Wish. I'll do anything not to hear him twice. Now, can you keep awake next to this pipe? Now, don't try moving that hurt arm. You just stay there until I get back. It's about time I had a look around here, see if there's another shaft out, a pocket of air someplace. Simon... Stay low to the ground. The air's better. Look, if you get dizzy now, you, you turn back. I don't think I could drag you far with this bum arm of mine. Now, don't you worry about me, Jim. I'm not afraid of the dark. But you ain't your fool. Uh, what can I go now? Yeah, you do it anyway. Be careful. If I am held up, well, there ain't no point in worrying Wishbone. He might think I'm trying to get away from his jokes. friend of yours. How'd I know he's gonna run off, Mr. Yates? Jerry's a good boy. It's just some rattlesnakes and things. You got to admit he's strong, though. Yeah, well, strong or not, we've lost him and the horse, too. Well, it makes no difference. We'll just have to move on without him. Oh, wait a minute. You ain't paying me to do the job of two men and a horse. Look, you get on your feet, Rankin. 
We're moving out or else I'll tie that bottle to your head. You had, I'd, I'd still be no good. Get back in the wagon. You gonna haul or not? Yes, sir. You get on the front. You know why I come back? Five hundred dollars. No, that's for Ed. Because me and Ed, we're gonna, we're gonna get a start in Denver. We're gonna live big and easy, and we, we won't have to run no more. Run from what? Uh, nothing. good trail boss that's right i did hear you say it was tied real good it didn't come untied rankin it snapped and on your side too why don't you get rid of him we don't need him yeah well unfortunately quince and simon do whimper about it. Hey, trail boss! Somebody's trading us off back there. I can't balance this cow in. He's right, Rowdy. We don't balance. Maybe we better switch around. All right, you come up front with me. Jerry, why don't you go back and help your friend? You didn't make that mad, did you? You shouldn't make that mad. He's my friend. Simon. I'm 
I'm counting on it. Thanks to him. Moving gun gel on a broken down wagon like this, the thing could have blown up in our faces. You don't know that? Hey, we're almost up at the top. Yeah, but we're not at the mine, so let's get back on the wagon. My canteen's dry. Go get me some water. I said back on the wagon. You do what I say. I said get back on that wagon. Uh, we ain't going any further. And besides, we want more money. You get all the money you're gonna get. Well, then we're gonna quit. <clears throat> Gary, help! I'm coming, Ed! Get him, Jerry. Crush his head in. <laughs> Down the stopper, I'll break it off. Get him up. You lousy, no good, hog bait loony. Hey, hold it. We gotta get moving. You always win, don't you? The kind always does win, but you can't watch me every second. Now you two work up front. You can do less damage there. Oh, did, did you kick me in? Of course not. They're the ones that kicked you. But we're going to be getting even with them before we quit here. You For Denver, Ed? For that boarding house? That's right. <laughs> Get everybody away from that mine entrance and tell them to keep low. All right, boys. They brought the stuff. Now get your noses up against this pipe and breathe. It's going to take them a couple of minutes to set it, so breathe while you can. All right, step out of the way, will you? Come on. Get right in there. Now, Simon, I just hope you can hear me. Here's what you do. When I finish talking, you grab Jim and drag him back into that mine. And both of you get low and stay back. Come on, sir. Come here. 
that you're coming at? Hmm? Franken, let this rope around the jug and play it into that tunnel there. Well, I ain't gonna swing it that way because it's liable to blast that way. All right, then you and Jerry take the bottle up there. I'll take it into the tunnel. I don't care. Judd, you get out there with the rest of them. And leave you to swing the gel? Uh, sorry, Rowdy. Look, somebody's got to do it, and I'm electing me. Now, get moving. And you always pick the soft jobs for yourself, don't you, huh? I had a, a kind of dream, Ed. Shut up. It was when Mr. Yates dumped me in them rocks. It's about this rattlesnake. I seen him. He had a face. And it was a face of a man. Didn't I tell you to keep your mouth shut, boy? Huh? Come on, you two. Get him over. was yours. You always called me no good, didn't you? Jerry, I didn't mean nothing. It was just talk. Now, you and I are pals now. Everything from now on is going to be 50-50. Why, you just wait till we get to Denver. Oh, boy. I wasn't always a no good at Ed. I never killed anybody till I met you. you came when you did. Because if I had to listen to one more wishbone jokes, I'd have gone plumb out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about those two, Jerry and Rankin. Some things it just doesn't pay to think about. Did he really throw that gel? Jerry, I mean. Never saw it happen. Can't know now or ever, I suppose. There, I told you to stay back in there. You're gonna open that thing up and bleed to death. Remember, we got girls waiting in Denver. I don't know, Wish. I believe I'd rather tackle that bear than I would a woman. Oh, boy, you must have been hit in the head, too. Thank you. 